This is Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering. Gov Nation, welcome back into the film room. I know it's been a while, but we're back with some good and exciting news. My name is Bree Houston. I'm your host, and we're here with new head football coach, Scotty Walden. How are you, coach? I'm doing great, Bree. Great to be back and uh, getting ready for some football. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. We actually got something we want to show you, Coach. Okay. Um, All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, it might take you back some. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. ETBUsports.com oh. here with new offensive coordinator for the <laughs> ETBU Tigers football team, Scotty Walden. Well, uh, I'm really excited to be here, and uh, we're going to bring a brand of football that's uh, an attack-style offense that uh, is really going to put the defense in a, like uh, a lot of old. pressure situations <laughs> where they're going to have to, you know. Uh, well, first off, I'm extremely excited. Uh, I can't wait to get, get to work with these guys. Uh, I know I've been working with them for three years, but I'm just blessed and honored to be their head coach. And three weeks later. She's been on the job about three weeks, almost a month now. <laughs> Commitment day was last week. When you make that decision, you know, we want it to be a four-year commitment. We don't want guys to toe dip with it. If you want to be a Tiger. Wow. But the hair grows in three weeks. <laughs> that is classic. Robin, I got to watch you. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta watch. I got to watch. I got to watch, Robin. That is classic right there. So what was going the, through your mind? You can obviously tell, Bree, that I, in that three-week span, I didn't sleep very much. And I did not <laughs> I did not go to get, get my hair cut. I was uh, – I was zoned in. Seeing that, I felt like I was 12, and, and now I look like I'm 40. I mean, football, being a football coach, I age you quick. So that's uh, that was that was that was awesome to see. Was, What's the difference between that coach you just saw and the coach you are today? Oh, that's a phenomenal question. You know, like from a schematic football standpoint, Bree, honestly, you know, there's been some adaptation. You know, over the years, you grow as a coach, but I think the biggest maturation you know I know for a fact like watching those videos and kind of going back to where I was at that time is you know just my growth as a man and I think that's you know increasing in my faith and um you know I you know said that first interview you know I was uh, I was still you know it was my wife now I was dating my girl we were just boyfriend girlfriend at the time and now you know we're married with a kid um and I think just seeing that that growth of you know becoming a father uh and understanding what this game's really about. So you brought up your family. Uh, how has the transition been for you and your family moving from Mississippi to Tennessee? Yeah, it's actually been really uh, – transition's always hard in this coaching profession. It's always – it's really difficult on your wife. You have to take off and start your job. But she's the one that's actually there in it. Make sure boxes are packed up and the movers are coming. And, but she's a warrior and a trooper. I mean, the coach's wife is a special, special – woman I mean, that's that's what we signed up for in coaching you know it's it's a journey and but that's what makes the times you are together all the more special but overall this transition was really good i i, I can't thank the people of clarksville and austin p to making this transition seamless this is inside the film room we're here now with defensive back cordell jackson cordell thank you so much for joining us I appreciate you guys having oh absolutely these last few 11 months have been an adjustment for everyone especially for athletes how were you able to stay in shape during quarantine um honestly i invested in a home gym was well, it's a minor home gym it's something small just like some curl bar you have jump ropes you got dumbbells things like that and then also it's a hill out right outside my house so i just tried to get out there spring season coming up it's New, it's different. Another adjustment. There's games on Sunday instead of Saturday. Um, I actually am pretty excited about that because my dream eventually is to play in the National Football League, and they play on Sunday. So I just feel like this is preparation to get there. Last year, you were part of the OVC championship team. How have you used that experience to lead this team? Well, I had good leaders and Pat Walker and one Terry Brown on the defensive wide. So they just like I hit them up every now and then, just try to just see how I can develop more as a leader. And with that, they just continue to give me advice and I just try to get use what they give me to our players. So you graduated in the fall. Uh, what is your degree in and what are you looking forward to do with it? Uh, my degree is in health and human performance with a minor in coaching. So what I plan on doing, if the National Football League doesn't work, then I plan on going into coaching. All right, well, good luck with everything, and we'll be watching on Sunday. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. This has been Inside the Film Room, powered by Echo Power Engineering.